Meat Boy is back, and today Meat Boy doesn't get to play with his meat. We're gonna make a carnivore creme brulee. Creme brulee is basically a custard, which is egg, cream, and sugar that has some sugar sprinkled on top, and then you torch it a little bit. It gets this nice glassy texture that's sweet and caramelized on the top. So let's get started. As with many carnivore dessert recipes, we're seeing a lot of similar ingredients. You know, the farm eggs, the raw dairy, the raw honey. Uh, so all of these recipes, if using quality product, will be very nutritious, very nutrient dense, as the actual vitamin and mineral content of this dessert is dependent upon the quality of the grass, of the forage that the animals were eating. You know, in the case of farm-raised eggs, you have most of the vitamins amazing amounts of omegas, good amount of minerals. The only thing eggs are really lacking, you know, is a large amount of iron. Uh, raw dairy is great, has all the vitamins, especially fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, it is lacking iron, it is lacking preformed omega-3. That being said, you know, both raw grass-fed dairy and farm-raised eggs are two of the best, most nutrient-dense and approachable foods you can incorporate into any diet or any recipe. Uh, raw honey is just a sweetener and, you know, this doesn't really matter here. You could use organic sugar, coconut sugar, uh, whatever you'd like. I'm using vanilla powder as the vanilla flavoring. You know, you can use vanilla extract. I like using this. And here, just a pinch of salt. You know, most desserts use a pinch of salt just to bring out the flavor. Uh, so this is super easy. We're just going to combine everything into a bowl, put it into ramekins, and then cook it in a water bath in the oven. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 325 while we're combining these ingredients. So for the farm-raised eggs, we're only using the yolk, and you need five of them. Just a pinch of salt in the eggs. Half a cup of honey. You could use more, you can use less. For the vanilla powder, I'm gonna do maybe a tablespoon. It's a lot of cream. And you can't really overdo this stuff. It is expensive though. This is two cups of raw grass-fed cream from a local farm. You know, if you're using regular organic cream from the supermarket, there's gonna be a big contrast in nutrient density between, you know, something like this and something you would get from the supermarket. So this right here is basically a raw custard. And if any of you guys are on the raw primal diet, this is where you can dive right in. And guys, this would be delicious on its own. It's, you know, pretty much the base for ice cream. You know, the difference between this and ice cream is that you'd have some milk in here. In a classic custard recipe, this will be heated over the stove to kind of thicken it. But we're not gonna do that here. We're just gonna bake it in the ramekins in the oven. The cream is actually a little cold, so the honey's kind of sticking. I'm just gonna blend this up a little bit with my immersion blender. Now that it's properly mixed up, we're gonna put it into our ramekins. So I took my turkey roasting pan that I used for Thanksgiving, filled it up with water, and we just have the ramekins resting in this. This is so they don't dry up too much, cook on the outside, keeps it nice and moist. Uh, we want the oven, as I said, on 325, and these are gonna take 40, 50 minutes. What you're looking for is for the outside of the creme brulee to be set, uh, but the inside still a little jiggly. Oh no, we got some water in it. No! All right, that could have been worse. 40 minutes. We'll be back to check. So it's actually been about an hour and 10 minutes and this is taking way longer than expected because my oven is crapola. But, um, you know, when we push this pan, you know, we can see that on the smaller ones, it's like jiggling a little bit in the middle and the outside is set. Uh, the two larger ones don't really look done yet, but the thing is they're so shallow, I'm worried it's gonna overcook. Uh, so I think we're good with this. We're gonna take them out and let them rest on the counter. These two look pretty good. I'm gonna let them cool off. Unfortunately, this wasn't the best choice of container for this. You know, I definitely wouldn't use uh, these shallower pans again, but it's still gonna taste good, just the texture and the coloring isn't gonna be right. All right, guys, so I have my professional taste tester that you guys haven't seen in a couple weeks, Gina. Hope What's wrong, Gina? Hope this is cold. It's cold because we were cooling it off. Uh, so as you guys could see, there's already some browning on the top. You know, normally you have to Sprinkle Browning. sugar on top of the creme brulee and torch it. But I figured most people don't have a torch. And the reason it's brown on top is because honey burns very oh, easily. Jiggly. It caramelizes very quickly. Uh, so because we used honey, we have, you know, a suedo, you know, brown top caramelized crust without actually having to torch it and, and do anything extra. Ew. Ooh. Oh my God. 
I know I say this with all the desserts, but this is insanely good. It's simple to make. Mm. It's like... Velvety gold in this. Oh my God. This is so good. It's crazy. What do you think, Gina? Mm. She's already, she's already like done with half the, half the ramekin. So good. I'll take 50 more of these. It's so good. Creamy. You want to tell uh, YouTube anything lately, Gina? It's so creamy and delicious. My you, favorite is the center. You guys like her outfit? What does she look like? Like a pharaoh or something? Like a mummy? I'm supposed to be a Cinderella. Except. I don't know about that. Well, mm. thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you'd like to join the live stream later, it's going to be on the Frank Tufano channel. We're going to do a carnivore diet Q&A. Of course, if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, of course, hit that bell icon. If you guys do want to support me further, uh, you can check out all the stuff down in the comments below. Frankie's free range meat, Frankie's naturals, as well as frank Uh Gina, that's plenty. This is literally like, I think like at least like a thousand calories worth of food. So, you know, just her eating that is uh, way too much already. Mm. Uh, so definitely check out organ supplements if you aren't in the United States and uh, we do want to have raw dairy and high quality eggs in the future available on a farm. Uh, hopefully, you know, with your continued support, that will happen, you know, sometime next year. Uh, so hold out a little longer, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.